Hi guys! So today we will learn how to compute for the discriminant of the quadratic equation. So now, let's start our lesson. Quadratic equations has two solutions. Solutions that we also call roots. Roots can be categorized as rational, irrational, and imaginary. Now let us recall our quadratic formula which is negative p plus and minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. For the formula of the discriminant, we have the b squared minus 4ac. When our discriminant is greater than 0 and is a perfect square, the roots of the equation are rational and unequal. When the discriminant is greater than 0 but is not a perfect square, our roots are irrational and unequal. When the discriminant is equal to zero, the roots are rational and equal. But if the discriminant is less than zero, the roots are now called imaginary or complex. We have our example number one. X squared plus 12X plus 35 is equal to 0. We have the values of A is equal to 1, B is equal to 12, and C is equal to 35. For our discriminant, we have 12 squared minus 4 times 1 times 35, which will become 144 minus 140 is equal to 4. 4 is greater than 0 and is a perfect square, which makes the roots rational and unequal. Now let's go on to our example number 2, which is x squared plus x minus 1 equal to 0, where a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to negative 1. We have 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 which is equal to 5. Since 5 is greater than 0, our roots are irrational and unequal. For our example number 3, we have x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0, where a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, and c is equal to 0. So we have 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4, which is equal to 0. Since our discriminant is equal to 0, our roots is now rational and equal. Now for our example number 4, we have 2x squared plus 9 equal to 1. Let's put the equation in the general form, which will give us 2x squared plus 8 is equal to 0, where a is equal to 2, b is equal to 0, and c is equal to 8. Now we have 0 squared minus 4 times 2 times 8 is equal to negative 64. Since negative 64 is less than 0, our roots are imaginary or complex. So that will be all for today and I hope you learned something new. See you again next video!